order to support Trump, uh, you have to look po- you have to look past so much. Yeah, I, and I I would even I would. What am I having to look past? I uh, I mean I think that like the loser attitude that he has around the 2020 election, the sore loser leading to him like doing all the with the electoral college behind the scenes, right? Which is nobody contests this, right? People have pled guilty to like a bunch of shit. Okay. Like this is just solidified actual fact, right? Like they were, you can say that they had a legitimate legal theory or not, but it was not legitimate. It was, we're going to try and find any way possible Let me put it like this. to leverage. The reason why I specifically have a problem with the 2020 election is specifically because of mail-in ballots. You'll right. never be able to change my opinion about it because the only mail, quote-unquote, mail-in ballots, ballots that were mailed in, are actually called absentee ballots, and they were only ever allowed to military or other government officials that were assigned in areas or if you were a US citizen outside, outside of the United of the, States. Well, I, you don't have to be an the, official. Right? Like my girlfriend was like study abroad in 2016 and she okay, was able so, to get but an they still had vote. to right, so they had to do, you know, different check-ins. They had to prove why they were there like there was a whole reason like rhyme and reason as sure. to and the have special problems. accommodation. Yeah. You can, versus you can have problems what they with did it. was just send out all of these ballots in the mail to everybody, and then they all get turned in, and then they go through this you know process of being counted that was completely new because this was a completely new way in which they were doing this. It wasn't done like this before. That is the one thing that we saw that was real quick, real quick. I I almost sympathize with the position. This is the problem though, right? Like there was there was so much time and so much effort put into finding discrepancies in votes, trying to find things that went wrong with the mail in ballots, trying to find, you know, all the voter fraud or all the voter discrepancies and all this stuff. There was so much so many man hours put into that with hundreds of like lawyers across dozens of legal teams across every single state in the country and Trump's own personal lawyers and shit. And they didn't, they weren't able to find anything. The Arizona, um, like, uh, like state Congress, they, they got a, a whole ass audit of their election and they found, and it was, Funded by a Trump ally, the company doing the audit was a Trump ally, and they found more votes for Joe Biden at the end of the day. After a year and a half long audit, I think. All the people connected to filing the lawsuits in these states, Rudy Giuliani said he knowingly, knowingly lied about these things. And the reason yeah, he said that, a, the reason he said that was because he was trying to get where, out. Well, he, yeah, there he, was he other situations lied. too. There was other situations too where uh, they, the, they weren't being as scrutinized, the ballots themselves as they might have been otherwise had the person actually showed up at the at the voting booth. And for me, it comes down to that principle, right? Get your ass up off the couch, carry your ass down the voting booth, cash your ballot. If there's I a reason, probably a legitimate that way. reason, yeah. then, then you know, you're I think serving that in, in some official capacity, started, or yeah. you're a student, you know, blah, blah, and you're assigned to a place and you can't be away. Yeah. But just because you're too lazy to get up off the couch and, and, and go down there, you, because there's a lot of rideshare, pl- you know, they'll well, fucking have it's, programs it, it for, to help cart people down laziness. there, too. It didn't have anything to do with laziness. You remember what year that, this It was. had to do with a manufactured disease that they played way out of 
in proportion. I told all y'all then that you were blowing it way the fuck out of proportion, and you could take your mask mandates and shove them straight up your ass. Yeah, but other people didn't feel that way, and the government didn't I, feel It doesn't that matter way. how other people felt. The reality of the situation is, is that for the majority of people, whenever you're looking at it, if you didn't have a zombie land, people falling out, so you, you, you had governments all over the world just scaring people for the fuck of it. And you now know, a people lot of people are fed up with that CTV. shit. People die every day, Sanzo. Yeah, but more people were dying every day back then. Do you want to stop all then? commerce, the, the entire thing that's keeping the other people alive? you want to stop all of that no. because people die? People die. Well, it, I mean, you it don't just stop depends on the why entire those people global were dying. network that's moving goods and services around. They keep everyone else going. Unless you've got an, a zombie virus, land. Be, if there was, if there was like a break. virus that was making people's heads explode 1% of the time, right? With a population Bro, of 350 if you had a million people. Yeah, yeah. If you had a virus like that, you wouldn't have to convince them to stay indoors, would you? They'd be like, you, you know, at the beginning shit. of the pandemic, do you remember? Fucking motherfucker's I, head exploded. They'd you know, be the freaking the, the fuck out. But you got somebody and they're like, oh, you're really going to get a cough. At the, the beginning of the at the beginning of the pandemic, it was the conservatives that were the ones that were like ringing the loudest alarm bells. Do you remember that? No. And and we called we called them conspiracy theorists. And oh and that yeah, was, ringing the alarm bells. What do you what do you what do you mean when you say that? They were the ones that were saying like start stocking up on on uh, goods and essentials now. Start stocking up on on masks. Uh, start doing this and that because uh, once the virus gets here, it's going to be a pandemic and people are going to start dying. And people were like, "This sounds like some doomsday prep bullshit." What the? F and I was one of those people. What the? is wrong with you guys I, you know right what until, i'm gonna be right I'm gonna up until point straight March. hold on hold on i gotta straight that i'm gonna point that straight back at at your your personal choices that you make uh because you like to go chase down nazis and shit right so you probably found one of those crazy ass people no, this was all them. over the place people were making fun of them on twitter people I, were making jokes it wasn't conservatives Facebook. that were going and grabbing the toilet paper out of Walmart, yeah, yeah, it was. It was everybody was. Everybody was. That's why there was no toilet that, paper because if I only wasn't. the conservatives or only the liberals did it, then there would be, uh, you know, enough toilet yeah, paper. It for wasn't people. me. Well, it, it wasn't might not me, have been you, right? But like, I was I'm the guy you, that was like, "Holy shit, this is actually a thing. People are actually buying up all the toilet paper. This is crazy." I mean, I couldn't believe that. I thought that it was a meme at first, but then I, went I to thought the it was a store. meme too. And then I get <laughs> in the store and I'm like, "What the but, this uh, is shit?" But I, like, here's the thing, like, the, when it comes to the mail-in ballots, my guy, like, people were scared of COVID, and rightfully so, all right? Like, no, law of large rightfully numbers. rightfully so. Well, we're not, not going to agree on that. So. But, like, I'm just going to keep going, okay? Because we're not going to agree on that, all right? But there was a feeling in so, the air, okay? So since we don't agree on that fundamental thing, right? And that's a fundamental thing. Now, no, it's, wait, let, for me, me it's even this. more bedrock than it was before. If the government tells me that I should be afraid, the government is the one that should be afraid, right? Because if you come if around here with that you bullshit, that they're going to have to kill coming, me. Would you listen to them? Or would uh, you say, I'm standing my f***ing ground? I'd probably verify it with Elon Musk first, if I'm being honest. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man, the way you guys simp for that guy is just like, it, it's like... The it's only reason sickly. we got any kind of free speech right now is because of Elon buying Twitter. That's just dude. He broke. Not, he broke the whole system when he did that shit. He, I mean, he did. He also lost a ton of money, and Twitter is dying because no one wants to advertise there because of the. Random it's a good fucking, thing that that's not his only stream of revenue, ain't it? it well, it, you it made he made a enough. calculated decision you know when that he did he's that. Suing he went, them because he's like, oh, you guys, you guys, uh, if you're gonna blackmail me with money, uh, you can go f yourselves. That was two years ago, and then like. A week ago, he's like, uh, why aren't you guys advertising with me? And he sued them. And he's just like created a, a massive lawsuit that he's going to lose. <coughs> you I don't, Disney, Disney straightened out down here in Florida. They straightened out from what I understand. I, I, I think that people just stopped attacking, uh, attacking mm. them because they realized they couldn't win. But anyways, um, like, look, when it comes to the mail-in ballots, you can feel any way that you want about it. But, like, even when Trump Trump's teams investigated it, when there was, like, massive, massive 
audits in like multiple states, you know, multiple times. Like I said, in Arizona, they hired a, a Trump ally, hired a like friendly to Trump organization to do an audit of Arizona's elections, and they ended up finding more votes for Biden at the end of the day that were verified and 100% like verified to be true. And like at a certain point, like, I'm sorry, you gotta, I'm not talking about you, but I'm talking about Trump. Like at a certain point, you gotta give it up when you don't have any evidence. But what I'd have to know, what I'd have to know that there's, What I would have to know, and I'm pretty sure it's probably the same thing he'd have to know or anybody else would have to know, right, that sits in the same chair that I happen to be sitting in, that thinks that the mail-in ballots were bullshit and shouldn't have been a part of the election process in 2020, regardless of any kind of bullshit with COVID. But they right? were. But they were. And there's nothing that and we And they definitely to need that. to not be a part of this one, regardless of whatever the moving forward either I, go down I there expect cast fewer your ballot. people i expect fewer people will use mail-in ballots this time than last time but i guess we'll have to see we'll see but like at if what you point... end up having a whole bunch to get mailed in for harris guess what we're seeing a repeat what if a whole before. bunch what if a whole bunch got mailed in for trump would those be fake then hmm. that's exactly why we don't need to have that <laughs> well, no, it's because I wouldn't contest if this them. side. Look, if well, this no, side over here I is wouldn't... saying we don't need to have it, and then you want to flip the script, and we're like, nah, we just don't need to have it. But like, see how like you say when like a bunch come in for Kamala, right? It's like, it's, well, if they're for Trump, you probably wouldn't think twice about it, right? It, I don't. It's like the fact it, that the, the fact that the question is being posed without considering. But the like, fact let's that... let's let's even like drop all this. Let me let me grant you that. Like people still have like a, a a grievance, okay? But like, at what point should a guy who, like, even even though there's not been any evidence found, like he tried he tried to find evidence, he couldn't find any evidence. None of his allies could find any evidence uh, in independent investigations. At what point do you just call this guy a a f- whiner, who's whining about losing, with no evidence that it was cheated from him? When do you get to call someone a, a whiny, a, a whiny little, right? Where's the strength of the conservatives? Conservatives are like supposed to be like the the counter to the soy libcucks that I f- hate. Okay, but like instead we're simping for a guy who has been whining for four f- years, and instead of you know like sucking it up, you're and saying, acting like, like that's the only thing he ever talks about. It is it is a large chunk of what he talks about. Literally, how much single, of his how much how much do you actually listen day, there to is what a, he says? A, I, I listen to as much as I can stomach CTV, but it kind of gets old when you hear the same thing over and over. He he's he's lost the the uh, uh, what what's the word the novelty because he used to say like new crazy shit over and like every time you heard him talk he would say some more crazy shit but now it's just the same crazy shit over and over and it's it's kind of boring to listen to him now and it, it's kind of it's kind of sad when right. you watch so a bunch of people walking gonna, out of his right so rallies. i guess the next so the next question is you know, well hold on let me, like let me just like, start. let me just get an answer to my question super quick when it comes to like someone who just like will not accept defeat Right. And he's gone through every cope avenue to show that he was cheated and no avenue has shown any malfeasance whatsoever. At what point can we call him a whiny little? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. So like I was saying, if you're going like if if the only thing you're going to do is just like say, Listen to what my reasoning was. Not assume that it's not a part of his reasoning, and sure. then go. Okay, it's like no, it's obviously a part of it. And you'd be like, okay, well, I understand where you're coming from, CTV. It's like, okay, cool. So then you can at least understand where I... they're coming from, whether or not you agree with how they choose to deal with it, right? Which is a completely different question that you're asking me. I'm not. That's a what I, no, psychologist. I'm, no, I'm, I'm not prescribing them medication for the shit that they're okay, doing uh, let right? me, no, I don't no, care. I, no no this is why this is why i think that you like ought to care because like if you if you had a friend who was like i only care about the policies in which the 
is going to be put in place once they get put in office, and I want that office power restricted him. to only be in like that's the whole thing, right? Is that he, I want the government to me, framed working in a way to where it doesn't matter who I put in that office; it only has these certain powers, and they can't go crazy, right? What we're doing right now with the executive is asking the executive to do too much. The War Powers Act needs to be repealed. Uh, for Hold damn on. sure. You realize right? that because of Trump, the, the powers of the president were made into like God King status. Like the president literally cannot be questioned on like, like 99% of the shit that he does That's in office. True. Literally it is. That's any not communications, true. any communications within his branch cannot be questioned. They cannot Everything be can be questioned all the time. No, because I, you can't pull any of it for you can't subpoena it. It is constitutional, like according to the Supreme Court, we're not allowed to subpoena any of the things that um, are said inside of a cabinet meeting, right? Or to Trump to any of the people that are the heads of any executive office. So whether it's the FBI, whether it's the DOJ, whether it's the uh, CIA, whether it's the FDA, it doesn't matter any three-letter agency trump's uh, or i'm sorry not trump's any presidents uh their their correspondence there is now unimpeachable you cannot ask for it to investigate any crime it is unimpeachable there is no way to get around that they explicitly say that in the okay. ruling okay you have a you have someone that is actively in office doing I'm confused here. So the reason this is bad is because when it comes to the criminal prosecution of Donald Trump, they were using the things that he was saying to his like to his advisors, to the people within his um, executive branch as evidence of the things that he did. Right. The correspondence of him like telling people to lie just to buy them a little bit more time. And now they can't necessarily use these things as evidence in court because he is granted absolute immunity for any anything that he like speaks to anyone in his administration. You cannot at all question that. Now, there are some things that people will try and point at and say, oh, well, you know, there's, uh, there's like two different kinds of immunity. There is absolute immunity, which is what I was talking about. Can't question that shit, right? And then there's the, um, the oh, I just had the word in my mind. The not implied immunity, but, uh, or you have, to, you have to suppose immunity, right? So uh, let's say that... Um, Presumptive immunity, yeah. So you have to uh, presume a president is immune if whatever you're accusing them of, right, could interfere with any action the president could like could ever take when it comes to his official actions. So if it could be argued that he's acting in his official capacity, right, then you can't question that. That's the presumptive immunity. So if the president, if you say, hey, I think that what you're doing here is illegal, if the president can make a case that says, well, if I can't do this, it interferes with my ability to act as the executive in, in the like, uh, things that I was granted as powers in the Constitution, if this would interfere with anything like that <laughs> in any way, then they have presumptive immunity, which means that they can't be charged for anything, or that can't be used as evidence at either. And then they talk about personal acts. Well, that would be like if he literally walked up to someone and just started raping them on the street, right? That would be probably a personal act, unless there was he could make some weird argument in court. But outside of that, anything that he does in house CTV, it's immune, and that's really up. You know, I, I hate that. I, I really expect that the president would be. I can't. I can't see a situation where the person that got elected to office, mm -hmm. right, is all of a sudden not going to be able to fulfill the duties of their office, right? Like when Nixon understood that 
he was going to end up going through some procedures. He just said, nah, bro, I'm out. Right? Yeah. Right. And then after that, they're like, ah, he said he's out. Like, we ain't going to worry about it. That's essentially what happened there. Well, they, they but did that's impeach where him, there's but like a, he, there's, yeah. So like the, the fact of the matter is these, this whole 34 counts that they just got through taking him through. Oh, that was a separate that's thing. All, that's all just bullshit. Well, right? that, that, that was a separate case. Very like completely different, um, thing that they're talking about there. Um, I, well, and see, and then that's where that that's the other thing too, right? It's like the whole this whole system is being weaponized right now against an individual. Everybody can see that happening, and because they can see that happening, it makes them go, "Hmm, well, that's f-ed up itself." Well, think about it from my point of view. All right, maybe Trump just does a lot of illegal shit, man. Maybe like the right. the like the heel character that he wanted everyone to believe that he was in the eighties and nineties is actually who he is as a person. And like all of his personal like actions and his personality and you know, all of that kind of leads me to think that it's more likely that he's just kind of like a, a what kind of guy do you want to be? Look, who, okay. Let me ask you this question. When it comes to the office president, what do you see that office as? I think that the person the in stage. the office. I think that the person in the no, office. No, 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 not the person. President. I don't give a fuck about the person right now. Oh, I'm asking you about the about office the on the world stage. Just the office. On, on the world you know, stage. Get into the, I'm not getting um, into the individual personalities of the people there because, frankly, that shouldn't. Matter. It what should absolutely matter is the absolutely matters. It absolutely uh, matters. Knowing their it, character, you, I want a I want a president what? that has character that has like a moral oh center God. to it. Jesus, all I'm here now is feelings. I want office structure. I don't want the president to go. Oh, I'm oh sorry. yeah, on no. a whim, I'm just going to go do this. No CTV, asshole. I don't let give me a ask fuck you what this. your Would you is. rather have? I, le- would you rather have? A um, you know, a school teacher or a serial killer as a president. I don't know. Are we going to war? Who's for the fucking any, serial anything, killer? I've got anything. legitimate questions here. <laughs> Listen, I want someone who is in that is in the most powerful seat in the entire oh. world to be a not only a strong person, not all, not only a smart person, right? Uh, I want them to be able to have the moral fiber to like uphold the principles of the United States of America. I want the person. What are in- those principles? I'm so confused because I've been hearing a bunch of communist bullshit get spout by Democrats for a long time. I just looked at the time. Uh, I got like four minutes. Uh, okay. What are the principles? The Constitution. The thing that Trump has said multiple times, whether you think he's joking or not, that he would uh, suspend the Constitution, whether it was because uh, they were counting ballots when he didn't want them to count the ballots anymore in 2020, whether it was uh, that, like, they need to suspend the Constitution. And yet he was in office when that happened and it didn't happen. It's like, jeez. Yeah, because, like, when he was tweeting these things, everybody around him. I swear, there's, like, this rumor mill that the Democrats had. No, 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 there's no, it's not a rumor mill. It's things that he said. It's things that he said said and did CTV. (laughs) It's things that he believes. <laughs> if he believed that shit, then how come we don't have records of this shit going back to the 80s and 90s? But we have records hold that on, haven't seen the exact same shit Literally today everything that he was that I'm saying telling you? back in the 80s and 90s. Hold on. What, wait, what are, you, what are you talking about? Maybe we're talking about different things. What the fuck are you talking There's about? There's video of Trump saying the, the same the shit. Back then, that he's saying today, when it comes to government, the way Absolutely. it should run, et cetera, et cetera. There is, and there's also a bunch of videos of him saying that if I wanted to run for president, I would probably run as a Republican because those guys are, and I could convince them of anything. I think he said that to Oprah Winfrey. Well, he didn't say that. 
to be uh, sure. It was like that's... almost almost word for word. Take out the cursing <laughs> no, and the retard. not anywhere near word for word. I watched the Oprah. It was... <laughs> He, he said that, like, I would run for as a Republican because those people will uh, will fall for anything or something along those lines. Oh. OK, but like what I'm talking about are the recorded statements that he, we have on record. On, I like, feel like you just got like this is, sting against Trump. I feel like it's no, just it's not. TDS well, actually, it will, how about this? Uh, like that's that phrase. It makes me see red. Like anytime <laughs> someone criticizes Trump, it's Trump derangement syndrome. Like, okay, it's not specifically against Trump because I feel the same way about a lot of different people in the world. All right. Like, when I How see about this, you're asking me to have faith in an untested VP that has yeah. a worse record with black people than pretty much anybody when it's her time as a prosecutor. That's right, simply and, not and true. But like, if you want to talk about that? someone who has no experience oh. in like for to be the president, Donald Trump literally had never held an office, and yet now president. he's held four office, four years of the office that he's running for again. That's the guy I want. Despite as a matter of though, fact, he's only like, going to get one more term. Period. So let's just go ahead and get it. No, because I don't think yeah. that he is. I don't think that he is a good person for our country. I think he's an anti-American hack. It's like, like the more I love my country, the more I hate Donald Trump. Right? I hated him because he's I hated him saying less. he loves the country since the eighties and nineties. His whole campaign is literally "Make America Great Again," but he's anti-American. He he says things to get elected. But everything he says along the way is self-aggrandizement, like the appearance, like the aesthetic of America, like the like it's like the a, a sickly, like deformed love, like like a, a someone someone took acid and then looked at fifties Americana propaganda and then was like, or no, no, I'm sorry, not fifties, eighties. Because that's the time period he wants to go back to when he was, you know, cool. All right. Not when he was this whiny loser baby who like goes around and all he does is suck his own like Marilyn Manson, removing two ribs on stage every single night, self aggrandizing and saying how he's the only hope for America, when, like not bringing to get together anyone, never offering that like olive branch to like walk across the aisle never being able to negotiate despite being like the biggest businessman of all time somehow this guy wasn't able to negotiate with a with a hostile party for anything meanwhile joe biden was able to with like the narrowest uh split of congress and the senate of uh, i think in literally american history all four years was able to get past some of the most like put off legislation that this country has ever seen stuff that has not been passed since i was literally born in 1995 like if you want to talk about like someone that's going to be strong in office where the was trump when he was supposed to be the strong man that was supposed to you know wrangle the democrats and try and get and try and make a deal where were the deal ctv because the only major piece of legislation that came out of donald trump's fat sausage little fingers was the the tax bill that he passed that was the literal only major piece of legislation that donald trump has his signature on and it's maddening and i'm ranting at you and i apologize i'm giga high and the higher i get for some reason i get meaner i don't get chiller okay i get funnier and i get meaner i wouldn't say you're funnier I I'm funny as f okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess if if you know, but like it's <sighs> that's that's my perspective, and you don't have to subscribe to it. Like I'm not going to like force you to subscribe to my perspective like immediately. But, I like, just feel like the Democrats wanted to hate Trump from the start because he's pretty much like a almost Democrat, you know, as far as a lot of the his ideas over the years and because he didn't run with them, you know, they got a f issue with him. He's a billionaire. That's not playing the, their game. Matter of fact, he called them on their shit. Whenever he told them, he says, you know, I, I use the same tax breaks as you and your buddies, but you won't change the tax code because you're using the same shit. 
So it's he, he, oh. he told him exactly what it what the, 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 the game Democrats was. The Democrats started hating, and granted, I'll say even oh. like even now, I would say that, and I could be I, I could change my mind back on this. All right, but like I think that the reason that people started hating Trump on the left was probably the way that he talked about people uh, in 2015 on the campaign trail. I would say it was his initial campaign for president that made Democrats hate him. I don't think it has anything to do with his billionaire status. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, you know him telling it how it is, right? Because people loved Bernie, and he was calling out the Dems all the time, and he, we don't see nearly as much hate for that guy, right? I think that, like, there's a personality clash. I, I, I think he just kind of has a, like, a shit personality. I just think that most people nowadays are, are just looking to be offended. I think that... Uh, and I'm looking to offend. I feel like I've offended you a little bit with my rant. No. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not. I don't, I'm I, just I'm not checking and making sure you're not hating me right now. No, it, it really just comes down to people not... Uh, being educated in well, the things that are important as an American, right? The Constitution, the original framework, how the history has developed, and you know why it is that we need to start taking steps to rein power back in. And if we don't, then ultimately everything's going to fall apart because that's what happens. History's proven this time and time and time again. So uh, it's one of those where, like, I can see the writing on the wall, and if and, and it's not just me. A lot of people can see the writing on the wall. The whole Make America Great Again movement is all about getting back to those roots. You know, if, if people think that open borders uh, are a good idea, uh, that's, not a, a, that's not somewhere I want – that's not the United States. That's not – it's not a country. You know, that's a that's a piece of land that has no sovereignty, no quick, official to capacity. I told you I needed to leave in four minutes, eight minutes ago. See you, buddy. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, I just want to say I love you. I'm sorry I got a little bit, like, I, I got a little bit animated there. I genuinely do love my country, and that's, like, my feelings on it. I'm not trying to be, like, a bitch to you. I'm not trying to, like, you know, like, grind you down and uh, get clips or anything. I'm giga high, okay? And I'll, I get a little bit more animated when I'm high. Uh, but uh, I do, like, super gotta go, all right? See you, buddy. All right, love you, buddy. Catch you later. Like, comment, and subscribe.